Mr. Jensen will see you now. Oh, oh, okay. And baby, um, remember to be a good girl while mom is away, okay? I'll be right back. Oh, well, I am. Um, I'm sorry. All right, I am really, really sorry. Especially if I'm the reason behind that pain and bitterness that I, that I hear in your voice. I am sorry. Pain? I have no pains, Jason. It's just I felt I needed to let that out. Having said it, Let's get to the main reason why I came. All right. Um, why don't you sit? You sounded, um, should I say, apprehensive over the phone, demanding that um, that is quite urgent that we see today. So what is it? There's something I omitted to tell you 14 years ago. I feel it's time I did. I mean, it won't be fair if I hide it any further. Something you didn't tell me 14 years ago. <sighs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but... From the way this is going, why do I have a feeling that... That I won't like it one bit? Jason. I don't give a damn about your likes or dislikes. It makes no difference to me. All right. Um, let's hear it. This thing that has um, brought you to the point where you have to um, break a silence of so many years. Let's hear it. What is the secret that you have been keeping from me? You have a daughter, Jason. She's 14, and her name is Hilary. So beautiful and oh Hilary, you're so clumsy. Please, mom, my mom is going to be so mad at me. But, but, but we could pay for it, ma'am. Right. It's alright, child. It's alright. Come sit down here. Yeah. Not to worry, okay? I'm sure nobody. It's just that this Hilary is here, you know, to Eunice, Mr. Jason's wife. Mr. Jason has a wife. Oh no, that's a disaster. Hi, my child. Mr. Jesse had a wife, but she's late now. Oh, what a relief. I mean, that, that's so sad. It's very sad, my child. But as I was saying, this figure is belong to Eunice, and Mr. Jesse insists that you leave her displayed here. 
just as she liked to have them in her memory. Well, that's very noble of Mr. Jason, isn't it? I'll say very lovely of him. Yes. Um, so, um, Mr. Jason and his late wife, did they have any children? Oh, unfortunately, no. Enough of these questions, okay? Um, why don't you follow me to the kitchen and and have some snacks and a drink. That way I can keep my eyes on the thing. I can't believe you, Susan. I don't believe you. I don't believe this. Because it beats me to think that you can keep the existence of my child for so many years without mentioning it to me. Not even for one day. Then how could you? How could you be so mean? Huh? You left me no choice, Jason. Like the proverbial mommy's boy. You, you abandoned me. You left me stranded. Susan, we talked about this. Alright, we talked about it and I thought you understood. There was nothing for me to understand, Jason. You made your choice 14 years ago to abandon me and what we heard. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just like you have also made the choice to abandon your daughter and run away with some spineless man because you want to get married. That is so unfair for you to say, Jason. You had no right because for 14 years of my life, I dedicated my everything to care and love Hillary. There's nothing wrong for me to decide right now to let her father try his hand at raising his own daughter for what? Oh, there is everything wrong with it, my dear. There is everything wrong with it, especially when you as a woman, you have been coerced into doing it. Really, what kind of man have you been dealing with? Huh? The kind that would tell you to abandon your child as the only condition to marry you. Is that it? Don't you dare insult me, Jason. Don't you dare. Because the character of my fiance is not in question here. Oh, really? It's not? No, it's not. What is really biting you? What is eating you up? Is it that you would rather Hillary didn't exist? Or perhaps you are afraid of what you almighty matriarch of a mother would do when she finds out that you finally have a child with that low-class gutter trash, after all. Or oh, isn't that what she gave to me? Stop being silly. All right. You see, this has nothing whatsoever to do with my mother. This has everything to do with your mother. Why else are you refusing to accept your own child? Or do you think I'm lying? Because I'm ready, right now, to carry out the fatality test to prove that Hillary is your child. So just stop it! All right, stop! All right, I'm not saying that she's not lying. I'm not saying that she's not my child. I'm not saying that you are lying. All right, I am just a man who is amazed at a level of callousness. How wicked can you be to have kept to yourself, just to yourself, the existence of my 14-year-old daughter? To yourself, you never said a word of me that you walk into my house one day to tell me that I have a 14-year-old that henceforth would live with me. Why? Because you're jetting off to go get married some spineless man. What kind of a human being are you? That is my point. The kind that you told me is. The kind that takes the sense of being judged by you. A callous, heartless, materialistic oh! Who could abandon a 19 year old pregnant orphan girl? Oh, because his almighty mother did approve of her background. You know what? To hell with you, Jason. To hell with your mother. To hell with your whole family name. Miss Lina, I can't take a break with this. She 
Items in this house. I mean, this plate in China is very expensive. And at the rate you guys are going, we might end up not having any more quality plates in this house. Ah, Miss Janice, I'm sorry. But I did not hear of any crash. What did you hear? No, me neither. Well, if you didn't hear that, you must have some hearing difficulties. Okay, Miss Janice. And you think the right thing for you to do is to stand there? Please go and investigate what's happening. I mean, you, you maids are so slow in this house. It's all right, madam. Um, I'll do that later. Come on, please run along already. <sighs> and you? Who are you? And who asked you to speak when Vanessa is speaking? Oh, sorry Miss Vanessa, but Mrs. Dick asked me a question and it was only logical that I answered. Really? And I suppose you are one of the maid's daughter or Mrs. Big's grandchild. I should think that Jason should tell this maid not to bring in your uncultured dirty and I've kept children into my home especially not into the kitchen to avoid food contamination you know yeah oh Miss Vanessa I'm so sorry but if you're afraid of germs and dirt and you think the maid's children are dirty and cut you could try teaching them simple cleanliness and hygiene don't you save yourself from lots of junk, don't you think? <laughs> Very funny. Oh, I suppose you think you are funny. Wait. Let's see who will laugh at whose expense when I tell my J to fire your mother. Oh, your grandmother. Or whoever brought you into this house. Oh, sorry, Miss Vanessa, but I don't think that is ever going to be possible. And why? You audacious brat. Points to correction, Miss Vanessa. I'm not a brat. My name is Hilary. Hilary Igodaro. Is that Jason's daughter? What? What the? No. I can't, I can't believe this. It's alright, this is nothing, we'll just have them clear it up, right? Contrary to what you think of me, I'm not a monster. That still remains to be seen. Clean this up. to warrant all this drama. What do you expect me to do? When this impudent brat told me to my face that she is your daughter. Although, I must 
admit I didn't, I didn't think it through properly. Else I would have realized that there is no way on earth that could have been possible. To hell, there is every way on earth that is possible. Hillary is indeed Jesus' child, and there is nothing you're thinking it through could ever do to change that fact. Do you understand me, Dumbo? Nothing like a brat to me. Jason, this is an outrage of all stupid things to do. This is the limit, Jason. I don't believe you, damn it! Jason, I think we will leave you and your bimbo. I think we will leave you two to sort things out yourselves. Since it's apparent that some adults. Surely you can't mean that, sweetheart. Just take a look around. Your daddy's house is like a palace. And you're going to be the princess of this palace. Huh? The house is beautiful, I know. But it's full of mean people like... Like Miss Vanessa. I can't stay here, Mom. Please let me go with you. Surely you don't mean that, baby. Because you're going to stay. And I know you will like it. Just, just relax. Okay? Come here. Come. Come, baby, come. You like it, okay? Don't worry, I'll always come around. You're not serious, Doris. Hmm? I mean, Miss Vanessa can't be threatening to leave our house. Mrs. <laughs> Biggs, after her big declaration, she marched upstairs like an outraged mother hen that, <laughs> that an angel wanted to come and carry her children. Oh my god. I'm sure she's going to pack her bags. I just wish for her sake that she does not end up doing unreasonable things. I mean, they can always reach an understanding over the child like two mature adults. Because. If she goes out like that, who does know? Good woman. Good woman. Are you not happy she's leaving? For me, it is good readers to bad rubbish. And I cannot stand her overbearing attitude. Hey! Doris. Ma? Doris. Ma? <laughs> I've always told you, this is what It's me. And you up in trouble. He won't this house. Vanessa, you stop being irrational. What is wrong with you? How dare you, Jason? How dare you to think that you have an already grown up daughter and you kept it away from me? My God! If you ever listening to anything that I am saying, do you hear me the first time I just told you? I just found out right now I have a 14 year old daughter and I never knew she existed, Vanessa. Oh, is, it, is it that you don't believe me? Jason. I feel betrayed. Not only have you betrayed me, you have betrayed the memory of your late wife's union. Oh, stop this and stop being melodramatic. What, what is wrong with you? Really? Well, I've had enough of it already. I have! There is no way on earth I will accept the fact that my fiancé has an already grown up daughter. Come on, Jason, think of it. The idea is totally inconceivable. I can't take it. I can't. Really? So what are you going to do, Vanessa? What does it look like I'm doing, darling? I am leaving. I am calling off this engagement. I mean, I can take the fact that you are a widower. Yes, but a widower with a grown-up daughter? Hell no, I can't. I am leaving. I can't do this anymore, Jason. I'm leaving. Listen, we, we can talk this through. Jason, I am We can talk this through. Vanessa? <laughs> Let me guess. You want her to stay? The dogs are knocking. Let me try to I have one too. Hey, this is your mouth. So, no, no, let me do trouble one day. Let me ask you something. My mouth, my mouth, my mouth. 
What is wrong with this one now that I have seen? Do you not know that she is a spoiled brat? Eh? I'm not here with you. You're not here with me at all. You're not here with me. She will come back next time. Don't say she will be bossing me around. Don't sack me. No, you don't sack me. I'm not here. She will come and be bossing me around. Miss Biggs, Mrs. Biggs, I want scrambled eggs and bread. Mrs. Biggs. Vanessa, talk about us like two, like two adults. Jason, I am not ready to talk anything through with you. I am leaving. You're leaving? Just like that? You're leaving? Do you realize what this would do? to our image? Do you realize that people will talk? Do you realize that a lot of people would be upset by this singular act of yours? Have you even considered how your dad would feel? Jason, my dad would have to understand. Come on. I mean, there is nobody in their freaking mind that would expect me to marry you and be a mother to that Skinny brat that looks like a cross between a sassafly and a mosquito. When I haven't even thought of being a mother myself. I mean, you know, choose to talk. I'm leaving. Darius! Darius! Get my bags! Oh! Oh! Get the, and you all fool, open that gate! Oh! Oh! I guess it's time I formally introduce the both of you. Yeah, I think so too. Hilary, this is your father, Jason Igodalo. Hi, Sorry. I really miss mom very much. Maybe the best thing I should do is to keep myself locked up in here in the room until Mr. Jason we have no choice than to send for mom to come and get me. <sighs> oh, but what if I go hungry? I wouldn't want to die of hunger strike, you know, because I always wonder what those people who died of hunger strike were thinking. Anyways, I guess locking myself up is not going to work. So what must I do? Can we do it? Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Jason actually has a love child from an affair he had several years ago. I could not have believed it even if someone had told me. I believe, I believe what does? That Mr. Jason is capable of parenting a child or what? <laughs> I don't know. You, you know everything. Eh? 
Mr. Jason is always so serious and proper. No hair gets out of the way. Even his wife was around, around the wedding, they were always so stuffed up. And now this scandal, and I no one knew about it. Doris. Hey. Doris. Ma. Mind your mouth. I'm sure Mr. Jason never intended the child to be a secret affair. Just that he never knew the child existed in the first place. Hey, whichever one is the same thing if you ask me. And nobody asked you. Did anybody ask you? Eh? Good morning, ladies. Good morning. We've been how all the weekend? Yes, it's, it's, mine was so, so uneventful actually. That was yours. Well, you will not believe it. I would have been as boring as anything you could think of, if not the change of events that happened in this house yesterday. Hey, Obi, please. Pay no mind to Doris. Who doesn't know her love for Scotty? Doris, mm -hmm. how far? Just in please. <laughs> Toby. Mm -hmm. Hi. Mr. Jason's oh. 14 year old daughter was brought back to this house by his ex girlfriend, I suppose. <sighs> Mr. Jason has a 14 year old secret love child. <laughs> Let me give you the juicy yes. part of the story. You know, it was hard to pop up that this rich girl. It's very sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she saw the girl, she quickly packed her bags and <laughs> ran out of the house screaming, I'm calling out the engagement! I'm calling out the engagement! Oh my goodness. 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 That is the most wonderful part of the whole story because I could not stand her over pampered attitude. Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, well, enough gossip for the money. Doris, mm. go and take breakfast to Hilary's room. I'm sure she must prefer to eat in her room for now. Okay, okay. Oh, yes, Mrs. Biggs, I've heard you, Mrs. Biggs. No work today, sir. Um, no work today, Mrs. Biggs. Oh. I'm taking today off. So. Spend quality time with my daughter. Mm -hmm. is, uh, Father and daughter getting up with each we get to know each other better. I hope you understand. Yes, sir. Great. I do understand. I think this is a wise decision, Mr. Jason. Thank you very much. Um, speaking of my daughter, where is she? Can you can you get her to come join me for breakfast? Ah, uh, Doris. Hilary already had breakfast without no, sir. without me. Is is that what it is? No, sir. No, 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 sir. I which my heavenly God, sir. I, I went to her room to give her, her breakfast and she was not there, so I, I assumed she was with you. She wasn't in her room when you went there. No, sir. Could she be that? That's the confusing part, sir. What? Are you saying she, 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 she's not with you? What a stupid question is that, Doris? <sighs> Are you out of your senses? If I knew where my daughter is, would I be asking you? Sorry, sir. I'm asking you to, Mrs. Biggs. Yes, Mr. Jason. Don't yes me. I'm asking you a question. Where is my daughter? Now, assuming that if you had looked around and you didn't see Hillary in this house, you would have at least looked for her and then come tell me that my daughter is missing or something. So, where is she? I'm sorry, Mr. Jason. Just like Doris said, we thought she was with you, sir. Now, you two tell me that what I'm thinking is. No, sir. It's not right. No, sir. I hope my daughter is not missing because if she is missing, I will hold the both of you responsible for this. Doris, I... Somebody is missing her daughter. 
Her backpack, her backpack, her backpack is not here. Her backpack is not just my backpack. Where could she be? No, probably her mother's place. I don't know. Sir, sir, please, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I had no idea that Missy Larry was planning on running away. I swear to God, I had no idea. No, 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 no it's okay. It's not your fault now, is it? Huh? Hey, come on, please let them find out before somebody will lose her job. My job! Did you see my daughter? Did you see a little girl about 14 with a funny hairstyle sleep? Did you see her daughter? Did you see her walk through that gate? No, I've not seen anybody walk through the gate. Oh, come on, now you've been here all morning. Are you trying to tell me that? What? You expect me to believe that she scaled that fence? I didn't see anybody, sir. You didn't see anyone? I didn't see her. I didn't see her. You didn't see anyone? No, sir. Open the gate for me. Mr. Jason, please. What? What do you want to do now? What do you think I would do? Sit back here and then lounge? Can I join so that? Get into the car. I'm driving this line. Open the gate! Apu <laughs> Abu Joshua, your money for front, please. Give me your money. Uh -huh. Mr. Conductor. Mr. Conductor. Bring your money. Please, I don't have any money. Don't have what? Be it this Abby for the Christmas Abby. This Abby will come here to play. What's in the motor for me? No, no, for another for Nigeria. Blast until they will decrease. Bro, oh, man, Mr. Conductor, take it easy on the girl. Can't you see she's just a child? Uh huh. But which can't talk with that one now? What's he concerned for this issue? Bless and over man your own business, Abby. Which more girl, man? Which more girl? Money, what are you giving away? You chop the street. Don't know how much I buy for it. Don't know how much I buy for it. What's the matter with this one? You waited there now. You don't pay your. Give me your money first. Give me your money first. If you want pay for it, pay for it. If you don't pay for it, I can stop this motor, Abby. Stop this motor, man. Okay. What is what? I don't have any money, please. I, I, it's not for me. I'm okay, okay, you don't want to pay you. 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 You don't take money where they give you chop biscuits. Nana, you want to come enter motor. Please, Mr. Come up here, Joe. Mr. West, come get up on that place. Mumu, there. Oh, God. Oh, God, I hope I'm not lost. They're not looking for me yet. I don't even know the way to mom's place. What am I going to do now?
No, I won't. Who is not going to say? I just knew that girl was a body. You know, she was a body and I didn't know what to do with her at the time, but hey. No, 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 no way am I going back to, to a father who thinks who thinks his daughter is a body. No, no, I can't go back. I can't go back. What do you call it for house? What do you call it for house? Come on, 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 It doesn't look to me like we're making headway at all. I don't think so, sir. I think we should just um, park somewhere, get out of the car. All right? Yes, sir. If you think it's the best thing to do, sir. Park somewhere, get out of the car. And... But first off, don't you think we should check that roundabout one more time? Yeah, I think so too because uh, there are too many people there. So. We'll check that roundabout one more time. All right. Oh no. Why are you calling me for this time? I, I hope no problem, sir. Oh, Susan is Hilary's mother. It is called motherly instinct, sir. Most uh, mothers, they know when their children are in danger. No, yeah, really? Yes, sir. And then you think that is something to smile about? No, Obi, why are you laughing? You think it's funny? Huh? No, what, you want me to take her cause and then tell her what the, her daughter is missing? Is it? Sorry, I didn't mean that. Do you think it's everything you laugh about? Now listen, we're going to get to that roundabout. Alright? Yes, sir. We'll get to that roundabout. I park somewhere. Alright? Yes, sir. Now when I park, you go left, I go right. We're not looking for a normal 14 year old girl wearing a dress. You and I know we're looking for Hilary. She's probably going to be wearing a t shirt and a jeans with a knapsack. Yes. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. It's good. All right. Okay. Oh, baby! 
How are you? I live quite a bit. No, 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 no. Sit down. I won't even let me. I won't even let me. I'm from Jasper. I'm with my friends. My friends in Jap. Pom Chopinson. I'm I'm in charge of this this area. You know what I mean? This area. Jasper. Jasper. Hey, you take care of your job. No, don't, don't, don't you worry. Don't, 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 don't you care. More. I like the small, small girls. But okay. Lala, like this never give it. You need, you need to give it. You need to you need to enjoy. Hey, baby, I'm quite busy now. Hey, busy, I'm bad. No, no, sit down. Hey, we both can't wait to give it. We both can't wait to give it. What, what is wrong with you? Can't believe it. Who even is making this? Who you think you are? Who even is making this? Eh? Who even is making this? What is it? Why are you trying to put some, some, some in my, in, in my garden? What is your problem? What is your problem? You talking back? I'm talking to you. Are you talking back? Why are you taking her away? Are you talking back? What, 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 what? Smoke out of there! Are you talking back? Arranging. What is your problem? I will blow whistle for you in this neighborhood. Hey, Mr. Gigi. Hey, Mr. Gigi. Do you, do you know where I am? Your father. Your father sorted the warrior you for head. Your father, Papa, I will, I will deal with you. Listen, listen. The God who made me, I will finish you. Your father. This, this, I go copy. They go, they go. Next time we go here. Now so the eyes, that's my job. Now we do this. Now, now we do this. Now we do this. Fuck ya. Keep your watch ya. Check it. I'm so sorry I ran away to the... Is that right, my little child? Yes, we forgive you. But please, don't ever do it. That is why I want to know why you did what you did. Wait. Did I do something wrong to you? Was it something that I said? Then what the hell is it? I need to know what it is so that we can avoid a repeat of this next time. What is it? Well, when I was coming to say good morning to you this morning, I overheard you, your conversation. How much, how much of a burden I was to you, and you didn't know what to do with me. I tell you, I tell you, you don't know what relief it is to know that Vanessa called up the engagement herself. Because honestly, I was terribly, terribly choked up in that relationship. I couldn't deal anymore. And the thing is, I was, you know, hanging in there, playing along, because my mother had approved of her. You know, but even at that, my I, I just knew that girl was a burden. You know, she was a burden, and I didn't know what to do with her at the time. But hey, honestly, thank God, um, things went the way it went. And I, but yeah, definitely. I mean, who's lost now? What? You mean if I heard my conversation and you thought it was about you? I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. No, you shouldn't have! You shouldn't have been dropped in the first place. You should have listened to any of my conversation. I was talking about Vanessa. That had absolutely nothing to do with you. Dear diary, it's me again.
I want to say that today was the most horrifying day of my life. I should never ever have run away. But in the course of today's event, I have learned two things. One is that it is never good to run away from one's problem. It is better to face the problem head on. Because you never know it might turn out not to be as threatening as it had seemed initially. The second lesson is that one should never if job on other people's conversation. Because then you're you'd run the risk of the risk of construing what you get to hear. Like the old cliche goes, if job was never do hear good of themselves. I am very relieved to be back. Yours truly repentant, Hilary. like a rock and woke up so hungry I could eat a mountain. Mm. That is expected. Since you ate only once yesterday, your little body will be yearning for more. I'm not so little Mrs. Biggs. I'm 14 and my mom says I'm a big girl. Is that so? Mm-hmm. In that case, you ought to know that big girls do not snap in between melts. Sorry Mrs. Biggs. I'm already half rich. That's alright. But meanwhile, you have to drop this. I run to the dining room first to be served in two minutes. All right, Mrs. Biggs, excuse me. Uh, Doris? Good morning, sir. Good morning. Tell her hello to come join me for breakfast. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, sweetheart. Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. Like I told Mrs. Biggs, I slept like a rock, and now I am so hungry I could eat a mountain. <laughs> Is it? Oh well, um, it's rather unfortunate that um, Mrs. Biggs here has a quick to the kind of skills required to pick him out. So that you will have to be good and breakfast. Alright, sit down. Thank you. Mr. Jason, I never knew you had a good sense of food. <laughs> there is plenty you don't know about your father yet. Huh? But I promise you, darling, that um, you and I would have great fun getting to know each other. Mm -hmm. So, well, how do you? You got yourself a deal, Mr. Jason. So, Mrs. Biggs. Mrs. Biggs. Please. Oga said they are ready to take breakfast now. Okay, breakfast is free. Of course, boss lady. Mm -hmm. Obia, mm. you're enjoying. Good morning.
Well, um, yesterday I was, I was terrified and I was just so relieved when you came to my rescue. Let's just say it's an emotional outburst. Interesting, what a crystal clear way to put it. Emotional outburst. I'm That's sorry it. if I offended you, Mr. Jason. It's all right. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Obi. How are you? Very well, sir. Mr. Obi, thank you very much for yesterday. I know I've got to thank you. Thank you very, very much. I'm glad to help anytime, please. Thank you. May I have the bag now? Sure. All right. We have to go, okay? I promise me. Are you here to go? I will. I'm not getting yourself into trouble. I think you think I'm going to run away anymore. I'm not. Not this time. Not anymore. Promise me. I promise. For your honor. For my honor. I take your word for it, Doc. Alright, Dad. Have a great day. I sure will. Okay. Bye, Mr. Jason. <laughs> Bye, Mr. Obi. And please drive carefully. Okay. Let's see. Um, hmm. There's a pool outside, and the water looks very inviting. Oh. Why don't you try it out? I'll try to that now. So, what are you going to swim in? You're welcome. How's the market? Ah. Is that not Miss Hillary's voice? I hear. She's screaming for help. Oh. <laughs> Entered into the pool since you know you can't swim. What if there was no one around? Do you know you would have drowned? Huh? I'm sorry, Mrs. Oh, God. It's alright, child. Okay? And Doris, I think you have to make a call to Mr. Jensen hey. and inform me of what happened today. Hey. Mr. Jensen will definitely suck me this time around. <sighs> I did not know it. I did not know. If I had not been saying that he could not swim, true to my heavenly God, I would not have suggested it to her. I know. I know. It's okay. Eh? Uh, I believe Mr. Jensen will understand. Mm. So just make the call, okay? He will understand. Of course, he will. I should call him. Oh, call him? So how are you feeling now? You're not feeling good. Mrs. Biggs. Yes. Doris, make the call now. Is it 
Is this all the sentence? Hello? Hello, Doris? What are you... Um, calm down, calm down. What are you saying? What are you talking about? How is that? Huh? All right, you know what, you know what? Listen to me, just calm down, all right? I'll be on my way right away. Excuse me, sir, is something wrong? Cancel all meetings for today, all right? I have an emergency at home, my daughter almost drowned us. Cancel all meetings, just call it over. Did I hear him say, Papa? Bobby! Bobby! Let's go. I should have told Miss Doris that I didn't know how to swim. She wouldn't have allowed me to go to the pool on my own. I'm so sorry. Please don't fire her. Promise me you won't fire her, please. My goodness. I'm so sorry. I don't know what I would have done if anything had happened to you, you know. Give you my word, I I will not fire her. Okay. Such a kind man, Mr. Jason. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is that a compliment? If you say so. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Hillary. <laughs> okay. Now, now that I'm beginning to, you know, pick points with you, I am thinking that um, pretty soon you would learn to call me dad, <laughs> right? Oh, uh, you're doing okay. Maybe it's sooner <laughs> than you think. <laughs> me, your father? Yes. I'm doing okay. Yes, you are. You're doing okay. <laughs> sooner than you think. <laughs> okay. I hear you. Yeah. You know what, I'll just um I'll just let you rest. Uh -huh. Okay? While I go take all of this up off and Yeah um, you should relax as well because you panicked me. So sorry. I assume that... I don't pay you, Doris. To make assumptions. That's my child. You have to learn to be careful. 
I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. I promise. I, to, to, I'll never make that type of mistake again. I promise. I, I, I swear. I will not. For your sake. I'm very sorry, sir. Are you sure? I'm not sure, sir. It doesn't happen. Because if it does happen... I promise, sir. I promise. There is someone with this nice. I'm sorry, sir. Did you hear me? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. She's bleeding. She, she's she, she's bleeding all over. I, I. It's okay, Mr. Jameson. Well, no, it's not okay. I, I mean, it should. It's okay. Can I please call the family doctor? No need for that, Mr. Jameson. I'll take care of you. I'm crying, baby. It's okay. I'll take care of her. Please, please, please. Excuse please. you? Yes, please, ladies, I'm here. Oh, I'll take care of her. Mr. Jameson, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. Tonight. Mm. Or oh, don't you know that that is what your menstruation is called? I hate it, Mrs. Billy. I've always had it being a girl. I don't want this to travel. There's nothing wrong in you being a girl. What you just entered is the puberty stage, which every young girl passes through. Some starts at the age of 11, 12, others are 13. But what you are is a late bloomer because you just started yours at 14. I've never wanted to be a woman, Mrs. Briggs. I've never wanted to. And you know, Daddy, Daddy and the family would not accept me. What? Where on earth did you get that from, my dear? Mrs. Truth, no. No, no, no. Um, can I come in? No! no. Uh, sorry, Mr. Jason. Uh, it's okay, I'll just be, be out here. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Don't cry. Okay? I'll be here. Now, come and sleep, sir. <sighs> Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So tell me, what's um, what's the situation? What what do we do? Because you can't tell me that all that blood is nothing. <laughs> Sir, there's no need for that anymore. <laughs> the blood you saw was little Miss Hillary's <laughs> monthly flow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! No, she started late. <laughs> and this is her first period. <laughs> but I should have. <laughs> I should have guessed. What was I thinking? You don't have to blame yourself. <laughs> After all, you have not, never had a daughter before. No, I, no, I haven't, but. Look, do you know what you just done for me? I mean, you just saved me some great deal of embarrassment because I would have rushed my daughter to the hospital and then I have them have something to laugh about, I tell you. Ah. That's what I meant, sir. Okay, so what, what next? Um, you said she's already sleeping in her room? Yes, Mr. Jason. All right, I just um, allow her sleep and then tomorrow we'll see how she's doing. Yes, Mr. Jason. All right, cool. Thank you so much, Mrs. Oh, Biggs. You've been so helpful. Thank you. Thank you.
Dear diary, I feel very weird today, uncomfortable and self-conscious. I suppose that must be how every girl feels the first time they get their menstrual period. Good morning, Miss Hillary. How are you? Mm. I'm sure that everyone already knows what had happened to me last night. Are you okay? Good morning, Auntie Doris. Morning, Sunshine. It's time to do my cleaning, so... I'll pick your beans. Hmm? It's good, it's good. Why on earth is Miss Hillary walking like that? Sweetheart. Good morning, Mr. Jason. Mm. I see we're back to him, Mr. Jason. Huh? Something different. So I should take it that time uh, yesterday night when you called me. Daddy, it was another outburst of emotion, is it? Yeah. All right, I guess I can do that. So good morning to you too, Hilary. How was your night? Excuse me, Mr. Jason. I was looking for you. And now you found me, Mrs. Biggs. Please, Thank you very much. Shall we? Sweetheart, are you all right? Are you okay? Yes, Mr. Jason. I'm, I'm fine. You're fine, but you're not eating. Don't you want to eat? Aren't you in the mood for food this morning? Huh? What is the problem? You're not eating. I'm talking to you, Hilary! Will you quit this time and tell me what the problem is? What is it? You didn't hear me the first time? Miss Hillary, what is happening? Miss Hillary, wait, wait! Miss Hillary, Miss Hillary. Oh. Oh. Miss Hillary, why would you make me run after you like that? I'm not as young as I used to be. Now look at it, my old bones are groaning. Oh, my story, you're really not that old. Neither am I as young as you are. So, tell me. What got you upset, my dear? Oh, Auntie Doris. I don't think Mr. Jason likes me anymore. But why would you say that? He's your father, isn't he? Yes. But I think he would have been happier if I, if I were a boy. I know he doesn't show it, but... <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hilary. This is the most foolish thing I have heard in all my life. Of course, he loves you. <laughs> oh my God, you will never stop to abuse me, will you? <laughs> oh my goodness. You called me Mr. Dixon? Yes, uh, 
Mrs. Biggs, I called you. I'm sorry I um, pulled you out of your chores. I just need you to to bring me up to speed about a few things. No problem, sir. It's about Hilla. Mrs. Biggs. Yes, Mr. Biggs. What else transpired last night apart from the matter with my daughter's menstrual period? Not what happened, sir. Why do you ask Mr. Biggs? Are you sure nothing happened? No, sir. She's acting strange. Mrs. Biggs. How, sir? Nothing really obvious, but um, quite disturbing, if you ask me. You know, she, um, you know, she barely looked at me this morning. She was peeking on her food. You could tell that there was something bothering her. And I, in turn, I got irritated. And when I raised my voice, she burst into tears and. And that's very unlike my daughter. I think the young miss is having a hard time accepting the fact that she is now a very young woman. How? After I helped Miss Hillary clean up, she made a surprising outburst. She said that she never wanted to be a girl, that she hated the whole idea, and that she wished God had created her a boy. How is that what got her to think like that? I think it's due to a misconception she had that if she were a boy, that you and your family will willingly welcome her into your family, sir. She said that? Yes, Mr. Jason, she said that to me. Are you sure she said that? Yes, Mr. Jason. She said that to me, sir. Oh. Excuse me, sir. Um, Mrs. Biggs? Mrs. Biggs? Yes, sir. Sorry, Please, sir. Just, just wait. Okay, sir. Well, I'm happy I gave you something to laugh about and stories. But I don't think it's very funny. And haven't they taught you not to laugh at other people's misfortunes? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hmm? Please forgive me. Oh, but you see, what you said is totally unbelievable. I know, and the stories. But my mom told me that she sent a message across to Mr. Jason that she should give that to a baby girl. But he refused to come. Neither did any member of his family. Well, why would they do that? I don't understand. Because the Gradino family wants a, the first child to be a baby boy and to hold the family name and dynasty. Oh, well, I don't know about that. Hmm? But the little I know is that my boss, Mr. Jason, is a very kind man. Very, very kind. And I do not think he will be that wicked not to love and appreciate you, his own daughter. And come to think of it, you're his only child. Are you sure? Yes, I am. I am. Okay. You don't need to be. Hmm? I have never heard of a more stupid notion. Where on earth, where on earth did she get that from? Sir, I can't say. But when you think about it, Mr. Jason, you realize that Miss Hillary's tomboy behavior must have stemmed from that very misconception, sir. You know, I can't tell you that I understand why. But I show you that it looks like raising an adolescent girl is. It's way more than I have bargained for, Mrs. Biggs. I am at my wit's end. 
I tell you. Mr. Jason, I believe you do just fine, sir. You know, just like a little flower plant needs a dose of water and sunshine every day. What I think little Miss Hillary needs is loss of love and attention. And you will see, sir, she will bloom into a very beautiful princess, sir. Hmm. Quite deep. Love and attention, you said. Yes, yes, it is. Quite deep. <laughs> All right, I agree with you. Henceforth, it will be a little dose of love, yes, of love sir. and attention. Yes. To make her come along. Thank you, Mr. Jason. I want to thank you so much for your wisdom. Welcome, Mr. Jason. Much appreciated. You can go. Uh, I called you out here because. I felt the need to speak with you. But first off, I want to apologize for screaming at you during breakfast. I'm sorry. You know, I'm just... I'm just new to this whole being a dad thing and while I'm at it, I am also trying my very best to be the best dad that I can be to you. So when you have a lot bottled up inside and... and I see myself as your best friend and you're not opening up to tell me what the problem is, I... I get confused. I get frustrated. And then I get worked up and then I get irritated to the point where I raise my voice. You know, just to just to let out steam. Not because I love you any less, Hilary. It's okay. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Yes, it's me, Jason. Um, I need you to help me get a very good interior decorator. Very urgent, very urgent. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jenny. You're the best. Much appreciated. Yeah, you too. Bye. Do you think all the little so much to say is true? About the boss not wanting to acknowledge her because she was not one before? Oh, Doris. Nothing in this world is as it seems. So you don't have to build everything you hear. Hmm? Ah, Doris. Get up, Zuri. What, my child? We start listening to the day or so we go out together. Really? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Wow. That's very cool, my daughter. Ah, and you must promise me I'm going to have fun. Oh, no, I definitely will. Hey! And you're going to make me happy. Yes, sir. Cool. Happy. Happy. All right, bye. Have fun. Oh, my child. This one. Let me cut this one. All right, I'm ready, Mr. Jason. How do I look? Um, you look okay. You look, mm -hmm. you look all right. But I still think you're in dire need of of a change of wardrobe. There's nothing wrong with my clothes. So Daddy insists that um, we stop by a boutique 
first. All right, so hop it. All right, Let's go. whatever you say, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> Seatbelts first. Yeah. For safety reasons, to avoid serious injury during accident. I'm happy, you know. Of course, <laughs> have a snap, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> Great.